Hi everyone, in today's episode of New York's Forgotten Railways, I am visiting an abandoned railroad line that is pretty well known, the Long Island Railroad's Rockway Beach Branch. The Rockway Beach Branch first opened as the New York Woodhaven and Rockway Railroad between Glendale Junction on LRWR's Lower Montauk Branch and Rockway Beach on August 26, 1880. After being bankrupt in 1887, the line was reorganized as the New York and Rockway Beach Railway until 1904, when it was leased to the LRRR as the Rockway Beach Division. On June 16, 1910, the line was extended north to connect with the LRRR's main line at White Park Junction in Regal Park. Thus, train could operate into Penn Station. However, due to frequent fires on the Jamaica Bay Trestile, Notably, a fire in May 1950, the LRRR decided to abandon the line south of Ozone Park. The abandoned line was later purchased by the city to convert into a subway line on June 11, 1952. After an extensive rebuild and a connection to the IND Fulton Street line, subway service to the Rockways started on June 26, 1956. The LRRR continued operation of the line between Regal Park and Ozone Park. The line saw a low ridership with weekend service discontinued in 1957 and by 1959 only one train in each direction ran on weekdays. Service ceased completely on the line on June 8, 1962 and the line has been abandoned since. Despite being unused for so long, we can still find a lot of remnants of the line. Our exploration starts with a ride on the subway. If you take the A train from the Rockways, before the train turns west, look out the right window. You can see the abandoned right away of the Rockway Beach Branch. This is also the location where the tracks were connected before the fire and rebuilt into a subway line. If you get off at Rockway Boulevard, walk along Liberty Avenue until 99th Street. Here you can see the structure that carry the tracks. Head north along 99th Street and we will arrive at the former site of Ozone Park Station. Ozone Park Station opened in 1884. It was located at 99th Street and 101st Avenue. Its platform extended all the way to 103rd Avenue. So I believe this is the old platform of the Ozone Park Station. So here is 101st Street and um, the platform ends here. And I don't know where the entrance used to be, but this looks like where they could have been accessing the station. I don't know what's behind that. But the entrance should be in this area that led to the platform, which is right above me, which starts from here all the way to 103rd Avenue. So I made my way up to Atlantic Avenue and this is where the Woodhaven Junction Station used to be on the Rockway Beach Branch. So there, there's one on the Atlantic Branch, which is also abandoned. It's underground down here. And this is the Rockway Beach Branch Station. The Woodhaven Junction Station opened on the Rockway Beach Branch in 1881. You can see the platform as well as the lamps and railings on the station remaining on the elevated structure. So on the north side of Atlantic Avenue, you can see what looks like the former staircase that leads to the station. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it basically goes up to the platform. Yeah, there's one staircase over there and another pair of staircases on this side.
Yeah, and this place is locked with a fence, so I cannot get in. Yeah, and it's pretty much abandoned. Uh, I don't think people they want people to get in, but uh, there's one for each direction. So that side will be to Rockway Beach, and that side will be to uh, Rigo Park onto the main line to the city. So now I'm on Jamaica Avenue. That's the Jamaica Avenue L on top, and here is where the Rockway Beach Band used to be. And this was a Brooklyn Manor station. So I do have a photo of Brooklyn Manor station from 1914, and it was before the elevator was built. I will put a photo on the on the screen and. According to the photo, I think the station house was on this side, around this area. Um, but obviously it is already gone. Like it was in this area. Um, yeah, it, I think it was removed already. Unlike other stations that opened only a few years after the railroad opened, Brooklyn Manor Station didn't open until January of 1911. That is because it was a replacement of Brooklyn Hill Station. But before we explored that station, I was able to access the railway to see all these remaining tracks and third rail. So they basically did not remove the tracks, and you can. This is really cool. So where I'm standing is south of Myrtle Avenue and here was where the Brooklyn Hills station used to be. Brooklyn Hill Station opened in 1882. It was demolished on January 9, 1911 and replaced with Brooklyn Manor Station that we saw earlier. Since it was closed way before the entire line was abandoned, there are no remains from what I see. As we continue north, we get closer to the former Glendale Junction, where the Rockway Beach Branch had a connection with the Lower Montauk Branch. We also reach the end of the forest and see a parking lot sitting on the right of way. So the abandoned section ends here for now, but this is not the end of the line. Um, I believe the line used to run through what is now this park parking lot. Um, yeah, and it continues north towards the main line at White Park Junction. It merges onto the main line to the city. So I made my way up to Metropolitan Avenue, and you remember there was a section that was the parking lot on the right away, and the section that crossed the Montauk Branch was also demolished. Um, but the C section was still here, so. Um, so this is the former location of the Parkside Station and I have a photo of it when it was still operating and it was pretty much the same perspective as the view that I have right now. It was on that side um, and the station house is gone. Parkside Station opened on September 15, 1927 as Glendale Station. It was renamed as Parkside Station later that year. So I took another look at the photo from when it was still operating and this was the wall and then in there there was a staircase that led up to the um, station house and platform so maybe it was the, the, the staircase came into what is now this parking lot and from here you can just go up there and access the station.
right next to the former Parkside Station in what is now the Metropolitan High School campus was where one of the connection tracks with the Lower Montauk branch used to run through. This connection track allowed westbound trains on the Lower Montauk branch to run onto the northbound track of the Rockway Beach branch. Another connection track did the opposite. I'm now on Flea Street and this is the former location of the Metawalk station. Metawalk was a very short living station that opened in 1910 and was closed in 1913, though some sources show it existed until the 1920s. It is also believed that it was not served by any passenger trains. According to what I know, it's on the northeast corner, so it's on this side, but I don't think there's any remains. Um, the station house, the, the platform, are gone because it was closed before the abandonment, like way before. So I don't think there's anything remaining that we can find. After Metawalk, the Rockway Beach branch merges onto the main line at White Park Junction. I was able to get a look at White Park Junction as well as the former Regal Park station from a westbound train on the main line. Besides that, you can also see the space that carried the Rockway Beach branch tracks that were next to the main line. There have been many proposals on reusing the Rockway Beach branch right away, including into a rail trail or to be reactivated as a subway line. But all of that deserves a separate video, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please help me by sharing it with your friends so they can also see my content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.